What's up, chat, man? What's up, YouTube? Hit the like button, subscribe. If you guys are watching the, the, the podcast on YouTube, I appreciate you guys. Uh, every Tuesday night, that's when we do it, man. The chat is live. The chat is always popping. Uh, so if you guys haven't made it to one of these live, you should definitely check it out. Every Tuesday night, we've done it. This is 84 straight weeks. 84 straight weeks of the podcast. We are here. We are in the building. So I appreciate all you guys coming through. Uh, yeah, I, it's not even on my list to talk about. It's not even on my list. As my camera's a little bit bright. A little, little bit bright. But it's not even on my list to talk about is the Twitch music thing. Uh, as there he is, man. Mr. Kev, there he is. Put some manies in the chat for Lord Phenom, man. We definitely uh, are going to be listening to his music more than damn near anybody's if this continues. I really don't know. Um, As my shit is nuts right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Getting crazy, bro. Crazy right now. He changed the chat on one on one layer it goes crazy on the next that might that should be good give me some dummy text chat give me some dummy text chat but anyway um I mean is my fonts Jesus Oh man, glad the mustache, the mustache will never leave. Let's not get too crazy and too carried away with that, all right? I didn't know this would change, I'm sorry, chat. Didn't know this would change this much. See, production problems. I'll be cool with that, I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it, that'll work. Funeral starts my guy with the Twitch problems. But anyway, so apparently they're banning people on Twitch for having music on their old clips. Um, I don't know what that means. And and really, there has I haven't got any type of. There's no rule that's clear. Like, only rules I saw was you can't do karaoke, you can't do lip singing, you can't do a DJ set. Uh, I, it never said you cannot play music in your stream. I never, I never saw that, you know. Uh, I, and I don't know. I really have no, um, no strikes, no nothing. I don't know if I'll switch it up. It, it's, it's weird for Madden players. I, I, it's weird for Madden players, man, because, like, I feel like music and sports gaming is like that goes hand in hand. You know, when you're playing Call of Duty or you're playing. Uh, you know, whatever game, Fortnite, you have no music because you got to listen to the game sound. Like, when you grow up playing, whether it be Gears of War, whatever it is, when you grew up playing, no, you had to listen to the game. The game sound is really all you need. You know, where sports games, it kind of goes hands to hand. Um, uh, and for me, it's going to be tough. I don't know how it's going to work. I really don't know where it's going to go from there i really don't know what their their idea is i don't know what the plan is um i did download this amazon music app i think maybe uh, a lot of it is let's get all these people off of itunes and spotify and title that i use and get them onto our you know if you're going to be on twitch let's get them on our streaming platform you know it's going to be a big way for them to add so many more viewers onto their streaming platform Whereas, I I mean, I'm not sure if that's the goal. I really don't know. Uh, I, I, I really don't think it's going to change a lot for the Madden community. Um, yes, Twitch and Amazon are a team. You know, I guess Amazon owns Twitch. Yeah, so essentially, I mean, Amazon would do anything in its power to try to direct people to their Amazon music streaming platform. Um, which would be cool. I mean, I'm sure Amazon has the money to pay everybody. You know, I, I feel like I'm on Amazon every day. You know what's crazy? We talk about this. When you order shit from Amazon, bro, it could be a fur coat in July. That shit is at your door in one day. When I order stuff from other places, I feel nervous. Like, it's not going to get here. You get so used to the Amazon delivery process that delivery processes from anywhere else are just not adequate. 
I'd be so nervous. Even like if my, my mom or my sister sends me something. I'm nervous because it took three days. Like somebody stole my shit, right? Because Amazon, listen, they're going to send me pictures of where they dropped it off at. They're going to they're gonna update me. Not an email. I get an app update on my phone. Like, hey, dickhead, your package is in the mail right now. Look, here, here's John with your package at your door, smiling, right? And like, it is unreal, bro. It is un absolutely unreal how good Amazon is delivering. It ruined things for everything. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with the music. You know, I, I've i always been, I've lived my life as ask for forgiveness, not for permission, you know. And that goes back to my boy DJ when he played books, asking permission to kick the field goal if it wasn't iced. Listen, man, I'm a person where I've never had any strikes on Twitch. Not on this account, God bless. But, um, you know. We'll see um, what happens. I, I also do feel like managed streamers are not, uh, you know, 10,000 viewer type of people where, you know, it really matters that much, really. Furious, man. Listen, if anybody could do it, I could do it. Listen, because we could, we could just start freestyling, Furious, all right? We can throw a beat on. Somebody flew me in like 10 beats. I got all Gare's music. I got all my man L Lord Kev music. Boom. What really more do I need? You know? I won't watch without music for real. Well, Racer Man, you dickhead. There's no music on right now, and what the hell are you doing? So there it is. There it is. 200 dickheads in here with no music. Look. Yo, yo like... I'm gonna make my game... I'm gonna give me my Twitch name, Racer Man. Because I'm a racer man. I'm a racer man. I race. Nobody can beat me. I'm the fastest in the world. Racer man, this is different. Yeah, you're right. We're talking. That's what you do on streams. The hell? That's what a stream is about. I got. It's all right. Listen, I'm gonna reach out to Meek, man. It's been real. It's not about us making money. It's about them them not making money. You know what I'm saying that's how it works. Okay, racer man. Here goes another thing. It's not like I'm the only stream without music. So now every stream is is without music. You know what I'm saying. So at the end of the day, you want to be with somebody without, if you're going to better pick somebody without music, who you picking, partner? <laughs> All right, Racer Man, you're this close. You're this close to go watch in some other podcast. This close. This close. This, this, see this right here? See this right here? This close. That close. That close. One more LOL. One more LOL out of you, this close. Yeah, anyway. So we'll see how it works, man. We'll see how it works. Uh, I think it's going to be all right. I think it's going to be fine. I think everything's going to die down. But anyway, it's not about us making money. It's about them not making money. You know? Like, shit, like, why can't I make money? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, you're not going to use my shit and not give me any money. I don't care if you're not making money or not. But anyway, that's, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm not too stressed about it. I feel like we've gone through this at least two other times in my time as a streamer uh, that they said we can't play music. I, I, I feel like we've gone through this. I would, uh, I would want, or I could easily just turn off the clip process. I think that's one that's kind of, I don't want to say the clip process is overrated. I think it's really good. Shout out my man Legends with the Twitch Prime. I think I think uh, clips are really good, but I always record everything that I have, so I kind of can control my own clips. I can make my own clips and post my own clips. So for me, uh, making clips for other people is not that big a deal, really. I might have to buy the rights to pop a perk. I wonder how much that would be. Do any of you guys know how much it would be? Like, I want to buy this song so I can play it no matter what, right? What would that cost? Does anybody have an idea? It can't be that much. Or is it that much? From someone like Boone? Not like Drake. Yeah, like... I I, I really don't know what it would be. Thousands of dollars. For a Boone Papa perk. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's too much. Never mind. We're gonna make our own perk. We're gonna just play some instrumentals and start rapping. 
Freestyle Fridays, boys. That's all. That's all we gotta do. Freestyle Fridays. To see what this all stream. Yeah, Freestyle Fridays. That's all we're gonna do. Like Freestyle Fridays. I don't know. Everybody has an artist, but I'll be honest, bro. This is all I've been hearing and seeing. Y'all could use my music. Most of y'all trash. It's just I'd rather listen to Game Sound. Be honest. I'm cool with Game Sound. And we can talk about different topics. I, I would rather not listen to music than listen to shitty music. Agree or disagree, chat. Rather listen to no music than shitty music. It's nothing worse than shitty music. For real. For real. Evan, now we can't play Evan's shit. You might as well play my playlist. You play oh, You act like, you know what I'm saying? Royalty-free music. What did I just say about shitty music? Yo, this is my thing. If music is royalty-free, do you think it's good? That's like saying, oh, oh, we'll keep these diamonds, but you can have those little rocks over there. <laughs> we got to pay for these, but take the free rocks. Let me tell you something about life. When some, The most unattractive thing you can say is for free. You can have a sign that says free diamonds, and people are going to be like, why the hell are they free? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Or well, it's a little suspect. But if you say, if you say five dollar diamonds, people say, "Oh shit, that's a deal." I tell you, free shit is ass. Everybody can do whatever they want, Joy. It's it's not a rule. It's not like I, I haven't seen a clean cut rule. And the fact this was great. The fact we haven't got emails as Twitch partners like this is exactly what you can and don't do. You know. Lucky, I'm just being real, man. Free, royalty free is, bro. You know, I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, man, streamers aren't like, I don't want to say who they're not looking at, but you know, you know what I mean. I, they didn't tell me anything. I have had no communication with, with I have had no communication. They don't talk to dub.w. Nope. I get one email a month from Twitch. Actually, I might get an email every time I buy a sub. I don't know if that's Twitch or PayPal, one or the other. Listen, Joe Brum, we we'll find some shit. All right, yeah, we we can work together for the stream. We gonna find some bangers. Jehovah, bro. Right, listen, I'm all I'm all ears for everything. If in fact this is a real rule where we cannot use music, I personally feel like this shit not real. Like I said, I will ask if it comes down to it, we shall ask for forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I don't want to talk about this forever because I, I really don't know. Honestly, I don't have no answers for it. I really don't. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen with it. I really don't know how it's gonna end or whatever it may be. But I do want to talk about the Anita Invitational man. Now, this is a tournament I I I, I thought up in my mind. I don't know if you guys were here the last couple weeks. Um, this is a mutt tournament, and I know everybody's been playing salary cap or regs or whatever you want to watch, but we never have the good players playing a mutt tournament. When was the last time you seen good players play straight mutt? Right? I'm saying, like, when have we seen this? I don't think we have ever seen this, honestly. And this time of year is pretty nuts because the cards are crazy. Everything is everybody's 99 speed, uh, and. And I don't want to say it's the most balanced mode, but it might be. It really might be. I, I feel like, you know I'm saying, right now the prize pool is up to $1,000. We have a, some more time to work on that, you know what I'm saying? I have some bars, Joy. Let's be real. Um, So the prize pool is up to $1,000. Now, I will tell you the date we have picked, the date we have picked, no, JP, you didn't get sneezed at all. I don't even think you'd be on the next 16 people. I don't think you'd be on the next 30 people, bro. We want people to that stream and people that people like to watch. You know I'm saying, not people that are good at the game. You know what I'm saying that is the goal. We are here for the entertainment and the community viewership. You know I'm saying, what's funny story about JP? JP used to be one of the biggest man streamers, and then said, "I don't want to do it no more." So that's nuts. You know what I'm saying. However, anyway, we have decided we are going to do this on June 20th. 
June 20th is about two weeks from now. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday. So that's about, what, what are we talking, like 12 days away, something along that nature. So two weekends from now, Saturday, uh, probably the evening time, we are going to have the Needed Gaming Mutt Invitational. Now, we have two weeks. We're going to try to get together some more money. Now, Rock Combo says I want to donate. Now, for me, it's a lot of things going on in the world right now that maybe could use money more. So, for me, um, I don't really want to go about taking donations. I feel like if we took, like, a, a crowdfunding, I feel like we could get this to $5,000 easily. You know, I think we could. Um, I, I just don't think uh, it's tasteful. Is the word? I don't think it's too tasteful to go ahead and take donations like a GoFundMe for something like a Madden tournament. I honestly don't. Uh, I feel like uh, we'll be good. We're at $1,000 now. We are working on trying to get some more money in the next two weeks uh, from different sponsors and everything like that. You know? Uh, yeah, that's just how I feel. Like, you know, I, I just feel like uh, it's not it's not tasteful to go ahead and ask for y'all money. When, you know, you people could be donating other things. I definitely do the thought around. I didn't really even talk to anybody about it. That's just a decision that I made personally. I wouldn't want to be the person, but I'll donate to us for us to play Madden and shit. Uh, when we're, our goal is to try to get some companies to donate. How about that? You know, because you guys aren't getting out anything out of it. You're going to be able to watch it no matter what. Um, so, but I honestly hope to hope this is a huge event and hope this is something we can do once a month, maybe, or at least every summertime, you know, I think summertime between, um, between the end of the MCS, uh, and the start of new Madden is pretty much like, a, a for competitive Madden, it is an absolute wasteland. There is nothing to play in. It's one of the hardest parts about being a, um, being a Madden pro that doesn't necessarily stream or make YouTube videos or anything like that. What do you have to play for other than the MCS? You know, there's nothing really that's that popping. But if we can get this event to where we get enough viewership and we get enough steam rolling with it, now you're getting sponsors and everything like that, and you can hopefully one day get this to at least $5,000 for an online tournament. That is my dream. Uh, and I'm cool with it being mutt. I mean, it's not the same as everything else, but I've always think, I mean, a man player should be able to play anything, you know, I'm, and we'll see going down the line if we make these decisions. And, and like I said, there's nothing out there for straight mutt. There's nothing, you know, at least salary cap, you got Friday night football, uh, and you have different tournaments here and there. Regs, regs, I feel like has tournaments all year. So straight mutt. Kent, you're not playing. It's over. The dream is over. But anyway, so it's going to be Saturday, June 20th. So mark that in your calendars. Uh, we are working hard to make sure to promote it to get as many eyes as we can on this on this event. So uh, the more eyes we have it, the more money it will generate. Pretty much that's how it is. My man Mike Cock, pause if y'all watch on YouTube. He's in the chat. There he is. But I do want to do the brackets. Now, I went with the random bracket. Went with the random bracket. Um... I put all 16 names. We are going to shuffle. I was going to shuffle until Boogs got the number one seed. But I don't know how many shuffles we're going to do here. Now, let's see. Let's see where we're at. The chat is probably... No, no, no. I need podcast display. There it is. Boom. Here are my 16 people. Yeah, there it is. The chat is wild. Um, These are my 16 people right here. Now, I can shuffle the seeds... I believe, let me do this real quick. Make these a little bigger for y'all at home. What the fuck is this? Oh. These are 16 people. Boom. Siwoo versus Earl, a play-in game. I mean, truthfully, I honestly feel like I could have got 32 people, but I feel like 16 people is just easier to pay attention to, easier for people to watch. Uh, it's only going to be three, four hours at the most. Um, it's going to be, uh, attention is going to be easier to go with. I feel like these 16 people is just as good as it gets as far as content and playing Madden uh, at a decent level. You know, obviously there's content, there's content creators in Madden, uh, whether it be YouTube or, or Twitch that are really good at that, but they're not necessarily the best Madden players. This, I kind of got the, the biggest combination. 
Um, the, the least streaming person on here is probably Drenny. Uh, Drenny, uh, honestly, he got to step it up on the content creation or he won't be invited back to this event, you know. No, but I think all these guys do a great job of streaming and growing their brands and doing a good job at that. So that's why I picked them. Plus, I think they're pretty good at Madden, you know. So, And truth be told, these are the first 16 people I thought of and they all accepted. So, Boogs is the number one seed. Do I shuffle these three times or do I shuffle till we get Boogs at the number one seed again? Me and Skimbo actually, old timer, will be doing the play by play. You know, Skimbo don't really play the game like that that much anymore. Plus, I, honestly, he doesn't stream that much. So, um, he's going to help me with the play by play. Going to be in the booth commentating. You know what I'm saying? Shuffle until Bugs is 16. Shout out, man, Colby, continuing to get this up. Sh yo, shuffle until Bugs is 16. Is that is that. Is that the move right there? Or we do three shuffles. I think I'm just doing three shuffles. Because I want to be here all day. And we can talk about a bracket. And next week, we will have a bracket challenge. That's another thing that's going to get this popping. Much like we did in the salary cap in the club championship. We're going to have a bracket challenge. And we're going to really, uh, you know, get this viewership really engaged in the tournament. And get everything going. So um, definitely some of the money that we're going to raise for this, uh, we're definitely going to put into that bracket challenge. So not only can you win money if you're in this event, but if the bracket challenge does well, you can definitely win a lot of things from uh, golden tickets to money to merch to everything. So, no, we are getting... Bookshank got the end. Corey, stop it. Y'all, this was... Uh, yeah, see, this was crazy. Y'all, I, I feel like y'all... You'll be going too far, man. All right, so I'm going three shuffles here. That's one. Oh, Bugs is still the number one seed. Two. Bugs is still the number one seed. What is going on? Last shuffle. Okay, there it is. The last shuffle. Boom. We got K Mac as the number one seed. Bugs is seven. Noah is 16. Uh, we got Throne versus Journey in the first round. Bugs versus Joke. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Let's take a look at the bracket. Let's take a look at the bracket that we actually just came apart right there. Boom. Here it is right there. Can we see the bracket? Boom. That is the bracket we've come across for the Needed Gaming Mutt Invitational right there. There it is. CC and Pavin. Drenny and Throne, D. Crawford's Fancy first round, BG versus J. Wall, Bulls versus Joke, Zan versus Chaos, Clef versus Maze. Ah, this, bruh. This is going to be tough. I mean, you got Pavin versus Clef in the finals? What about joke? I mean, Jay Wall is here. This is, man, bro, I'm telling you guys, this isn't bad. This is not bad. Now, I ask you guys, if we did have, if we did have a, um, say we had another one in, in a month, who are some names that aren't on here that you guys would like to see? Then, you know, as far as streamers, like, obviously, Kiv is great at Madden and people, uh, who else is just great? And I mean, even JP or people that don't people that don't stream. I'm not really that interested in people that don't really stream, honestly. You know, yeah, Civil's definitely Civil's probably on my next like list. Or see, who said he would play too? Clef got played Maze. Niner and Civil, <laughs> Niner. See, who did say he play? I honestly didn't think about Civil because I didn't think he'd play in this, honestly. I'm saying. So it's a lot problem. Problem probably ain't played Madden in, in six months. Henry, problem in Niner. Right. Well, Wu is definitely getting picked up in the next one for sure. But this is a tough little bracket, man. And I mean Pavin. You guys told me Fancy's the best player ever. That, that I, that's all I keep hearing is Fancy's the best player ever. 
Really, that that's all I keep hearing. Now, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. Um, this tournament will be powered by Players Lounge. So all the brackets on there will be on Players Lounge. I don't even want to save this one, really. This is just uh, to, lay, to get the brackets to shuffle it and see how it goes, honestly. Get Kep in here and Pony. Facts, Jehovah. I agree. Civil is better than Journey S streaming. I agree. Yes, sir, Young Caliber. This is the 16 people. June 20th, man. If you guys weren't here, June 20th. That is not this Saturday. The Saturday after this Saturday. Uh, about 12 days, something like that. 10, 11 days. You guys know. Um, it will be on Saturday. Saturday evening, probably. We're working hard to... Uh, we are working hard to try to get more sponsors and more eyes on the event. The more eyes we can get on this event, the more popping it will be. Also, next week we will do the Madden Bracket Challenge, man. Any perfect brackets will win something. I got to figure it out. Um, so, if you guys want to come in next week, we'll, I will reveal the Bracket Challenge, the prizes, and all those, all those different beautiful things we got going on. You know? But that is that will be next week. This week, I just wanted to reveal that bracket. That's really popping. I mean, the only people we have, Players Lounge is powering the entire tournament. All the brackets will be on their site. So when you come in here on Saturday and you say bracket, it will take you to Players Lounge. Players Lounge is the best online site for playing in tournaments and gambling and whatever you want to do on Madden-wise, Players Lounge is the best, bar none. It is straight mutt, Young Caliber, straight mutt. First Mutt Unlimited Tournament. I, I want to say of all time. Of all time. You know what I'm saying? I really think of all time. Strengths and weaknesses of each player. Uh, Strengths and weaknesses of each player. I really couldn't tell you guys. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what people's weaknesses is for the like what's K Max weakness? I don't know. They say Noah's weaknesses is running the ball, but do I think K Mac is going to do good against Noah's defense? No. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I think like I feel like Noah has some of the best defense out. Is it man man? I feel like that's a great matchup to watch, right, chat? I feel like throwing and journey. I, I mean, I feel. I honestly, I feel like I don't like picking anybody. I feel like Journey is the favorite in every matchup. I don't care who we play. I feel like Journey is the favorite in every matchup. CC is probably going to lose, you know. But you know, he he's going to put on a good fight, you know. It's 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 no shame in losing the Pavin. You know what I'm saying? Uh, D. Croft and Fancy is like, all right, that's that's must watch TV. B. G. and J. Wall, oh my God, that's I, anytime B. G. plays is must watch TV. Boogs versus Joke, I, I don't know if Boogs has ever beat Joke ever, but it is Mutt, so he'll have every player. He'll be in there, you mean? And honestly, what I like about this is that, um. You get to see what the best players in the world would do with their abilities. What abilities would they use? Are they going to use two two wide receivers? Are they going to use a running back ability? Where are they putting their defensive abilities? You know, I'm interested in watching that. You know, obviously you can make, in salary cap, you had to make sacrifices. There's no sacrifices to be made right now in this mode, you know? This tournament will be it's June 20th. That is not this Saturday. It's the Saturday after, you know, so... Make sure you guys remember, and we're shooting for the evening. Not sure, maybe nine, maybe 6 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Eastern, something along that lines, ideally. We just got to work in logistics with every player. That's the toughest thing, getting everybody on the same page, everybody ready to burn. The production, and we're working with Twitch to really make this a special event. So when all these things come together, I'll give you a permanent time, but June 20th is pretty much locked in. One night, we're going to be in and out. It's not going to be a long thing. Pause. But, uh, you know, 
So so that way you guys can tune in and enjoy it. If you don't catch it, we'll definitely put a YouTube video up. We'll definitely have the VOD up because there won't be any music or anything along that nature, you know? We'll see if somebody uses Gunslinger. That's what I like. This will somebody use Gunslinger? Will somebody use what? What will people put on their team? What do they think is the best for Mutt? Also, you got to look at guys like like you said, like Fancy and Decroft that are playing Mutt, and then guys like Boogs, he don't really play Mutt. It, look at Drinny. When was the last time Drinny played twenty five games a week in league? He doesn't know the powers of Mutt, but Drinny's one of the best players ever. Where does it collide? Where where is the the uh, what has to give, you know? You know? I'm just saying, I just hope you guys would like to watch it and you guys show up and support because it is a, a, a dream of mine to have a tournament in the summertime when we pretty much are all looking for something to play and something to do. And everybody's kind of bored and everybody's pissed at EA. Everybody was pissed at EA today. And I, I, I feel like... Nobody gives a shit about the game anymore. Nobody cares about playing the game anymore, man. I really was like, just uh, the amount of people that were just so mad that there's no content. Are you guys part of that group that's mad that there's no cards? Now, I understand. Like, this is how I feel about the game right now. There's no card, uh, there's no card that's going to change the game at all. Like, at all. Even the Sean Taylor card we're all crying for, he's not going to change the game. Because I'll be the first one to tell you, Sean Taylor's great. It's my favorite Madden player ever. He won me a lot of money. But he is not going to be better than Calvin Johnson, and he's not going to be better than Taylor Mays. You know? Yeah, the co patching, I agree, Fard. I agree a thousand percent. Patching that shit was nuts. You know, and part of me, I get so mad because, oh, it's the only way to make coins. I, I, me, I'm, I'm dumbfounded by that because I, if you play the game, you make tons of coins. But then I realized that a lot of these kids are, are 500 or less than 500 players. Then maybe they're not making as many coins as me. You know, maybe they're struggling to make coins. I, I, I people that say Madden is dead are absolutely lost in the sauce. The fact we are talking about this, we're talking about cards in June, and you guys say Madden is dead. Madden is as live as it is, ever has been, ever has been. Drinny, bro. Drinny, I'll be honest, Drinny. The chat is questioning you. The chat has questioned your man ability. They said you don't know what mud is like. They said you're not going to be ready for the blitz. You're not going to be ready for the heat. You're not going to be ready for the gameplay of mud. That's what I, That's what the chat said. I said Drinny is a Madden champion. He'll be prepared. The chat definitely questions you. I don't know. But for me, um, now Corona helped Madden. Okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, like I, I just, I just honestly don't feel like a card is going to help the game at all. Really, I, I really don't. It's going to change the game that much. I really, I really don't think there's any card that's going to change how the game. Yeah, you got to play Throne, man. That's your first round matchup, Journey. Let me show. Journey is just joined. The, let me show Journey the, the bracket while he's in here right now, man. Here it is. Here's the bracket. We got K Mac Noah, Throne Journey, CC Pavin, D Croft Fancy. BGJ Wall, Buzz Joke, Zan Chaos, Clef and Maze. Boom, right there. That is the 16 people. That is the, There it is. Babushka Madden. I mean, Babushka... I, listen. Babushka... I, I'm be honest. Babushka is my favorite. To, yeah, he's definitely going... I, I think Babushka making it to the semifinals. And then Pav and Decroft fancy. I be like, then that's gonna be a battle. Like, I really think, yeah, bracket ran random bracket. We just did it about ten minutes ago. Random bracket. You know, I mean these matchups, I'm telling you, these matchups are nuts right now, chat. They're nuts. So like I said, June twentieth is going down. Um June twentieth is uh Near flex close. I don't know. Thrown with the first round upset. I listen. If Drenny loses a throne, now I think Throne's a good Madden player. I don't think he's bad. But Drenny is a Madden champion. Drenny 
No, nah, but I was just thinking, Drenny, has Boogs ever beat Joke? Oh, yes, he did. Madden Bowl 17 group stage. I remember. Boogs got a tough draw. I'm telling you. And we will do a bracket challenge next week, and I will reveal what our rewards are for the bracket challenge. Mutt is different. And, Drenny, let me ask Drenny this. How many Mutt games have you played in the last month? Who, oh, Bugs, Jehovah? No. No holes bar. I don't even think Drenny knows where to put his abilities. Drenny might activate a corner with, with Universal and Lurker. Drenny got to play Weekend League. This, Drenny's probably going 20-5 and five in Weekend League. Oh, my gosh. Boogs played no. I mean, Journey played no mud. I listen. I might. I might have had an L bringing Journey to this this uh, tournament. I don't know if he's ready. But like I said, I'm not. I I don't think I've ever picked against. I don't think I've ever picked picked up picked uh, against Journey. All Journey got to do is make one tweet, 500 likes, and I'll, I'll show you guys the team I'm using for the Nita Invitational. Don't use Gunslinger. Funeral service. He's getting flooded in dance battle. Journey is getting flooded in dance battle. Uh, Moss is the only one that lights up, Journey. So you can have Moss on anybody, but it's impossible. Getting Moss is like you got to like five completions over 30 yards. Five completions over 30. If you get five completions over 30 yards, you pretty much won the game anyway. <laughs> Wesley, you don't stream a lick. You know, it's Wesley. When you stream with a face cam, we'll keep it real. All right, then then that counts as streaming. Agreed, chat. Streaming without a face cam isn't really streaming. I'm sorry, it just isn't. No, no face cam. No face cam, it doesn't count. You know, no overlay, no face cam. Yeah, J-Wall has a little overlay. He's got a little overlay, and he plays weekend league. So that's a different type of stream. J Wall, way bigger streamer than, than Wesley. Every time I come in there, Wesley never says anything. Have y'all ever been on Wesley stream and he's like interacting with the chat? Hmm. No. We'll see. Wesley, man, listen. You might be on a short list of the next need a gaming invitation. You might be on a short list. I agree, Fancy. I've seen it. I, I've watched. This is my. This is me with Madden with uh, money games right now. If I see Eli, I go bye bye. That's pretty much how how my Madden streams, watching Madden stream, work for me. If I see Eli, I go bye bye. Period. There's just I'm not staying there. I'm not staying there. Uh, so everybody want to be. Listen, everybody wants to be in the tournament. Yeah. Journey's mutt team is probably he probably he probably got salary cap old lineman. May's gotta who May's gotta play? He don't got that tough a matchup, does he? Clef, oh yeah, he lost. Damn. Damn. Well, I mean May's gonna have fun. Exactly, Fart. Everybody want to be in there for their chance to win the money, but they don't really want to put the work in the grind. But don't worry, Fart. It's okay. They're going to be salty. All these all these man players are going to be salty. Bro, when Twitch keep blowing up and keep popping, they all going to look back like, damn, I should have streamed. You know what I'm saying? That's, they all going to look back, I'm telling you. Wesley, I'm like your biggest supporter. Hmm. I am your biggest supporter. I feel like I'm your best best friend that supports you. Everybody else just tells you you suck. The bracket. This is what we got to right now, boys. Got K Mac versus Noah. Throne versus Drenny. CC versus Pavin. D Craw versus Fancy. BG versus J Wall. Boogs versus Joke. 
Zan versus Chaos, Clef versus Maze. Boom. That is the 16 right there. Next week, we'll do a bracket challenge, and we'll do the community. We will do the community needed podcast bracket as well. We'll vote on each each game. But then, like I said, June 20th, this goes down. June 20th. June 20th. You know what I'm saying? June 20th. I mean, we we will have a spreads next week. Be the listen everything, and next week we're going to have the um bracket challenge. You know what I'm saying, May's May's probably like top ten man streamer. Y'all don't be hip. Y'all don't be hip to the community. I, I swear to God, the competitive dudes just go in their hole. That's my thing. The competitive dudes, when MCS is over, they just go in their hole. When was the last time y'all heard Ghost? Where is Ghost at? Where he at? Right? Where was Journey at before this, this tournament? And that's my biggest goal. We need something between the end of the MCS and the start of the new Madden, man. So one day I hope we to get this one up to a couple couple tens of tens of Gs. Newports, what's up? Pavin in the chat. Pavin, who Pavin play? Oh, Pavin plays CC. So Pavin got a buy in the first round. Exactly, Journey. That's a good attitude. That's a good attitude, Journey. Actually, y'all last CC be going like 24 and 1, 23 and 2. Yo, CC, I'm telling you, he played he played more mud than anybody. And Pavin for his first time popped his 25 and 0 cherry. So I don't know if Pavin's ready, honestly. I don't know, but I, I'm excited about doing it. I, I, one thing about, I've always felt like this chat. I've always felt like, I, I, I personally, when I watch these man tournaments, I always tell myself, bro, I could run that shit better than them. I, I one million percent feel that way. I feel like with the timing, knowing how the players, what, what the players are thinking, knowing what the viewers are thinking, knowing how to put on a stream, I always feel like I can run this shit better than them. And I, I just want the opportunity, really. You know, so we shall see. <laughs> Journey, Journey, Throne been playing mutt. You got to get in these mutt streets, man. Yes, BG is. I'm telling you, it's not sweet. Boy, me and Skimbo will be doing the commentating. Skimbo got a whole new webcam and setup and everything. He was like, I'm ready. I told him we should wear the suit and tie. Put the suit, at least a jacket on for the be commentators. And he wasn't really with the shits. But that's just me. You know, that was that was what I thought would be popping. But, you know. <laughs> Skip, we got to wear the Moss jersey. The Moss jersey. Journey, damn, don't worry. Listen, why you at? Look, Journey already scouting his opponent. Journey's already scouting his opponent. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Journey. Go watch my YouTube, bro. We got the, we got the bag for it. The the double X T-shirt and shirt. Yeah, that's right, old timer. That's Skimbo Tuxedo. Yeah. But anyway, let's get to the wish list. Wish list is time where y'all talk the most. I don't know. Y'all be ready for the wish list. Now, we already have a lot of shit on the wish list, chat. We already got a lot of things on the wish list. Now, I'm going to be real. I have to change this real quick. Jesus, this is going to be rough.
This is what we have, chat. This is what we got already. Mic games. This is the wish list, chat. This is what we have on it. Um, first of all, like I said, we have a... We have two different wish lists right here, boys. We have a realistic wish list, and we have... And we have the fluky, or we have the, this will never happen, but we hope it happens. We will have post-game interviews. We will have all of the sort. All right, boys? So just make sure you guys are there. Everybody's ready to rock. Everybody's ready to view it. This will be the best production. This will be the best production of any man tournament. All right, boys? Pass protection needs to be fixed. I guess. I don't know what you want me to say about that. Now... Like I said, before y'all just start saying shit, please read my list. We have worked hard on this list. This list will be presented to whoever may view it and may take it into consideration. So if you have an idea, make sure you read the 10 to 12 things on the list and make sure it isn't there already. Because chances are it might be there already. No D-line abilities. I mean, you might as well just play no abilities at all. Pass protection is not bad. I... It's not bad. It's not good, though. Put that away. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The running back has always been bad in pass protection forever. Big head mode. All right, that's the end of the chat, man. I saw big, I saw big head mode. All right, that's the end of this. Been real, boys. Stop cheese blitzing. All right, dude. I swear I put salary cap weekend league. Yeah, it's right there. Salary cap squads weekend league. Like I said, if another person says something that's on the fucking list on their screen, this uh, this will never be an option again. If you waste time of my life reading your shit ass pea brain comment and it's something that's already on the list, I will never do a wish list again. Simple as that. It's just done. Like I literally just said that shit. Like do I need to make it bigger? How big do we have to zoom in? What are you watching on your fucking Nokia? You can't see these things? Like, God damn, man. At, no. Ah, oh, this shit makes me mad. Like, simple directions. Simple directions. All they had to say. All, yo, simple directions. All you, like, directions are just too hard for people. Yo, camera toggle. That's save audible sub settings. Once again, that is the first thing on the list, Ward. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, Playmaker, I would be happy if Playmaker got taken out the game. Playmaker is stupid. No abilities. Abilities are in the game. Let's 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 I don't even want to waste my time to type that anywhere near abilities are gonna be in the game. If y'all still on the no abilities train, literally, y'all gotta go play soccer outside. Go literally get out the house and play a sport. Seriously. I believe I put that somewhere. Oh, track stats. Yeah, I mean, I, we talk about, I feel like we talk about that all the time, but it's not on the list, so we shall put it somewhere. Where is my... Oh, yeah. Boom. Every quarterback gets every ability. Okay. My man Buster with the five gifted coming over the top. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Put some demons in the chat for my man Buster. The God. I have always fought, felt like this, bro. End zone celebrations definitely should be customizable. Like, like, Fortnite, you can do a bunch of different dances, bro. I can't even change what dance I do going when, going into the end zone. 
You should have to, yo, emotes should be a thing in Madden. You pay $5, you get this dance unlocked, and you can put, yo, it's pretty much like, remember uh, 2K. 2K, when you win the game, you can pick what dance you want to do. And you got to spend X amount of money to get said dance. Whether it be $2 for this dance, $5 for this dance, $10 for this dance. That's 1,000% what it should be. So my man Tenacious right there with the five gifted. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. No, Playmaker is ass. I don't care. You can get 5,000 subs. Playmaker is always be ass. I really do think... Customizable celebrations is something that would be great for the game. Now, it's not like a gameplay thing. It's completely cosmetic. They can make tons of money off of it. And my pipe dream is that they can make enough money off cosmetic shit like Fortnite, like Apex, like Call of Duty. All completely cosmetic shit to buy to where they don't got to spend or they don't got to, you know, make us pay this much money to get cards. That is my idea. More cosmetic more cosmetic pretty much what I'm saying more I don't even know what the word is cosmetic options how about that more cosmetic options boom I like it I, I, I honestly I might be a weirdo I might be a nerd but I like cosmetics I'm saying exactly Jenny you, you, every TD, you control what, what celebration you do. Celebration. I'll put, there, I'll put celebration. Celebration is my biggest thing, man. Because, like, I like, bro, when you celebrate, it pisses somebody off. I want to control what I want to do. If I want to do the smack the nuts, spin around every time I catch a pick, I want to do that dance. And honestly, to a point, if I'm holding left trigger, right? I should have like 10 different options to do. If I hold left trigger and Y, I smack my nuts. If I hold left trigger and A, I do the Dion, hold the ball up. If I hold left trigger and B, I do the flying ends on like this. I should have these options. That would be fun. It would make the game fun. The smack the nuts celebration is the best celebration. You know? Pre-game defensive subs for different formations. See, look at this. See, see this first one right here? Aiden. Aiden P. Kelly. Save audibles slash subs slash settings. Literally, the first one on the list. I appreciate you reading. I will tell you this. The one thing about abilities, right? Why they're good. Listen, you could say why they're bad, why they're good. This is why they're good. They completely remove the dice roll. If you throw a post to Julio Jones, what's the percentage of him catching the post if he gets his hands on it? 100%. 100. 100%. He will not drop it. Slotomatic, if you throw it to him under 10 yards or on a playmaker, what's the percentage they catch it? 100%. There is no more dice roll. There's none. If you want to catch that pass, give the right ability, they will catch it every single time. As much we want to say, we don't want any more dice roll. We don't want to know well, no more dice rolls. This is not an esports if there's dice rolls. Yo. Abilities completely remove the dice roll. Boogs lost the game to civil. Why? Because Deshaun Watson threw the shit to the popcorn vendor three, four times. Blocky lost the game to who? Master Gamer? Is that who Block? Yeah, Blocky lost to Master Gamer because Lamar Jackson smoked him three or four times. They could have put an ability on, and it would have been a 100% accurate pass. No dice roll. They chose to go with the dice roll, and it screwed them. That is why abilities are good. You can't one hand say, we don't like dice rolls, then say, we don't like abilities. You know what I'm saying? Pass Rush Elite is still a dice roll. I agree. What do you want that to be? Do we want Pass Rush Elite to be he beats the center in two seconds every single play? I wouldn't be mad. That You're right.
<sighs> Who said no swerving? More realistic ball tracking. That's your job. That's your job as a user, ball tracking. Click on, press B, track the receiver to the, to the football. Yeah, I don't know. Abilities are arcade garbage. You know what I hate? You know, this is what happens to me, right? So I put out, like, the little Twitter mixtape all the time, right? And my followers are cool, but Mudhead shouted me out. Uh, Mudhead gave me a tweet, right? The Mudhead viewers... Oh, this is not simulation football. Oh, this is why Madden sucks. Look at everybody taking bad angles. Look at all the people sucking. Oh my gosh, Madden's the worst game ever. Oh my gosh, I don't see anything. I just see bad computers. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my god, Madden sucks. Oh my gosh, this game is so bad. The whole time. If no, quarterbacks need to fumble and blast. If quarterbacks didn't fumble and blast, I would never lose a game. Ever. Everybody would be in blast. Put that. There would be no other offense if quarterbacks didn't fumble and blast. It's just not real. It's all animation. Look at the way they're defending me. Then this is what they say. Look at the way the computer. Because I'll be honest. If you let the computer. Well, you know what's bad about like what the shit you can do with Michael Vick, right? If you let the computer try to tackle Michael Vick, that's not an enforcer. Of course, an enforcer will kill him. I, I, and the only time I challenge an enforcer is I'm playing a complete shitter. But if you let a non-enforcer try to tackle human joystick and never click on him, yo, you can do whatever the hell you want. You can go smack the defender on the ass, run a circle around him, and go for a touchdown. That is how bad the computer is at tackling. It's, I don't even think it's about pursuit. It's just they, they can't tackle. They can't. Now, this these are the same people that say there's no skill gap. There's no The skill gap is clicking on that person and making that tackle. Making sure they don't take a bad pursuit. Making sure they take the right angle. That in lies what makes a great Madden player. You know what I'm saying? And it seems like the people, these it's like it's like they don't understand what the skill gap in the game is. You know? Now, it's easy. It's easy for a person to run cover three and mutt and go ahead and kind of contain your offense, putting deep halves, and it's hard to sweat. They, if they can't tackle, Blast will drive them nuts. They have no shot. I would tell you this. Blast is a will, will beat a bum better than passing the ball. That's what I'm saying. Like, if, if, cause Fancy's like one of the best passers in Mutt, right? If, if me and Fancy go play an eight year old, I feel like Blast is fucking him up more than Fancy dotting him. One million percent. He has no shot of stopping Blast. Weather should never be in the game. My man, Elephant, Elephant of Flight, there he is with the tier one, bro. Yeah, yeah. Weather should never be in the game. I wouldn't mind. Per honestly, I wouldn't mind if there. I no. There should be. A, there should be. This is what's nuts about Madden. There should be a mode that I can click on and play, and maybe get a weather game. Right? Let's play mud head to head. Uh, what could it be called? You know, maybe not simulation because that's a whole other mode. But maybe some type of simulation where maybe I get a weather game. If I want to go play in the weather, let's go. Shit, it could be a house rules this week. Weather demons. Every game's in the in the rain or the snow. Absolute monsoon or absolute blizzard. And we would play the shit out of it. It would be kind of fun. Yeah. I'd, I'd play in a hurricane for house rules. You know, weather demons, house rules. Yeah. They could have so many more modes of Madden. They really could, you know. 
I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, there's so many more option options they have with football, you know. <laughs> the gauntlet weather demons. You're right about that. The dudes that play gauntlet are weather demons. They definitely are weather demons. The weather savages. Listen, me and Journey would do a live dance battle if we got 5,000 retweets. That's what I told Journey. If we get, no, 5,000 likes. If we got 5,000 likes, we would do a live on stream dance battle. I would flood him, honestly. I know more dances, I'm more hip, I'm more agile. You know what I'm saying? But we would need 5,000 likes. I don't know if we'd get that. I'm more agile than Journey. Journey is not agile. 5,000 likes. This is the thing. Journey has no freestyle dance game. All his shit is scripted. Like, he literally writes the shit. That he watches the YouTube video... Okay, he put his hands together and he threw the salt over his shoulder. Okay, he did a little fist pump. Okay, he spun a little bit. Okay, and he rehearses the shit for an hour before he puts record on. He has no freestyle game. He doesn't know what to do when the playbook runs out. He doesn't know. You know what I'm saying? See, he be scripted. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. The bench, yeah, Journey don't got shit for this. He don't have shit for this. Journey the type to try to steal this move before I break it out so the casuals think this is his move. Right? Journey's the type to really break this out and be like, yeah, that's my move. And then the casuals be like, oh shit, Journey killed him with the bench press. <laughs> Drenny dances look like he's like mad that he got dance. All money and JD with the tier one. Thanks, buddy. I, press, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Shooting the dice. You always got. You always got to shoot the dice. You got to mix in a little dice shooting every once in a while. Yeah, the pop up. Yo, did you hit him with this one time? He lost. He lost. That's it. He lost. Journey has no originals. Journey got to beat J Wall and Civil first, for real, for real. We got. I'm like. I'm like. I'm like Shao Kahn of dance battles. I am the Shao Kahn of dance battles, bro. I really am. I'm Shao Kahn. Journey is like. Journey is like Sonya. <laughs> Journey is Sonya. Civil, you know, Civil might be, uh, I don't know. Civil might be like Johnny Cage. <laughs> Civil might be Johnny Cage. J Wall might be Liu Kang. J Wall might be Liu Kang. I don't know. Striker. <laughs> oh, striker. Striker is the worst. Yo, Striker is the worst. Striker is the worst. Rage? Yo, Rage might, bro. Who is Rage? Shikobi? Bro, Shikobi's a legend, bro. What we not gonna do? You got poison? You already know. Shikobi is a legend. Civil vs. Rage plays J Wall. <laughs> My man, UBPD. There he is, man, with the tier one. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. I'm the Shao Kahn, bro. What's going to be corny? Do you know what's going to be corny? It's going to be somebody that could really dance and be like, no, and try to show us. Like, bro, Oreo is Goro? Who was who the... Uh, Oreo is not Goro, bro. Goro was a beast. Who was the woman Goro? What was her name? Who was the woman Goro? 
Oh, she oh, she was a beast. Shiva, yeah, that's it. Shiva. My guy was New Sarbot and Cabal. My guy Cabal, I don't know, Mortal Kombat 3 or Mortal Kombat Trilogy or Ultimate Mortal Kombat, Cabal was the bull. Cabal was the bull. But Noob Saibot and Cabal are my guys. Yeah, Cabal was tough. Smoke Smoke was always tough too though. All the all the robots, all the, the ninja robots, man. All the ninja robots is uh definitely uh dubs. Oh man. By the way, the wish list is coming along, man. It really does. Alright, Rain is ass. Stop it, 40 piece. Rain is not good. I've never seen anybody talk about Mortal Kombat and talk about Rain. Exactly, Journey. Exactly. It would be ass. They would ruin it. Baraka. Baraka's super ass. Ermac. All right, y'all just naming everybody. All right. The Dance Invitational might be in August, right before Madden comes out. Stop at 40 piece. Ain't nobody losing the rain. I don't, I don't lose the rain. Kano. Kano was a glitch. Jax was a glitch. I mean, Scorpion and Ice. Ice or what's in a Sub Zero? I was going to call him Ice Man. Sub Zero. They were, I mean. The fact y'all bringing up Ermac and Rain instead of Scorpion and Sub Zero is just questionable. Just rough, just questionable. Shang Tsung or Shang Tsung? Shang Tsung? That what did that dude used to do? He used to throw the hat. Was that the hat guy? Shang Tsung? My man AB Madden with the one most man or the eleven most man. My guy. Nah, Raiden didn't have a hat. Raiden, Raiden had a hat, but he did the flying, uh, the, the like the dive ass somebody face. But Kung Lao had the hat. Okay. Mod for ten gifted. Tenacious for sure, bro. Here, I'll do it. Go ahead. You want to spend fifty bucks for mod? Have fun. Have fun. You might lose it after you give to after you give 10, but you know. I think everybody that's gifted that much is a, is a mod, really. Like, yeah, I feel like everybody that gifted that much is a mod without, like... Is there anybody that's gifted that much that's not either a VIP or a mod? I don't think, like, that should work like that, bro. Vasquez, you got, oh, you got 10 on the dot. The best way to be mod is not fucking ask for it and then eventually and eventually just being here enough. That, that's all. Damn. I hate deciding who gets to be mod or not. Like, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, what? Like, what? Like, I don't know. I've been mod. I, I've never, ever used mod ever in a chat. I've never, like, I, I really just don't understand it. I guess your name just looks cooler in the chat. I don't know. But I appreciate it. Ten gifted, man. Put some head, put some demons in the chat. Like my man Wes, he 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 probably next up to get mine. He probably gonna get mine soon. Cause he be in here. My man Ven be in here. That's all you just gotta be in here. My man Reem be all y'all be in here. It's just like then another thing like this is like this is like Bro, what if everybody becomes a mod? Is it even important to be a mod anymore? You feel what I'm saying, chat? Like, at what point do you be like, all right, I don't be want to put everyone, you know what I'm saying? All right, that should get weird. Like, you got 30? I don't know. You also got a little badge next to your name. I don't know. I don't be knowing how many people get to talk look at that little leaderboard or if you got the badge next to your name. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I really don't. I really don't. Understand. Oh, 
No, so you're trying to get mod everywhere. So it's not even special to have mod here. See, I want to take the little sword away. You know what I'm saying? Woo, there he is. What's up, Woo? Well, we just talking about how you're in the next Needed Gaming Invitational room. That's what we just talked about. And we might have a playing game between you and Earl. Well, you versus Niner for playing. Okay, well, will you back? Last time I saw you, it was looking bad for you. I didn't even hit the little jump. Dirk, I'd have got, bro. Mm. But anyway, that's the wish list. If there's anything y'all think we should add to the wish list, y'all saw it. Please comment below because we need the help. Or we need, yeah, we need the help. We need to add to it. I want to say two more weeks on the wish list, then I'll send it in to everybody that has ears. Um, but uh, for me, um, the biggest thing is just. I don't know. It's a bunch of little things. I really think Madden 20, I don't think I'm the good is not the word, a good foundation for a better game. If that if you guys understand that, it's got a good foundation. Improvement on this game and improvement on the gameplay in this game will go a long way, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? My man Lucky J with the Yifted. There he is. He do got 30 ye. He do got 30 ye. 30 ye of the Yifteds. My guy. Put the demons in the chat. I don't know how to what the little the sub gift badge how that works. I really don't know. I believed you, but I just I like I said I really don't know how it works. Like why the hell does Ward have a gift, John? Why does Tanay? I, I really don't. Maybe it's this month or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Don't know how. But anyway, YouTube. This was the Needle Podcast episode eighty four. Bro, we are 16 weeks weeks away from episode 100, and it's it's feeling like episode 100 is going to be right on Madden 21 release. That's how I'm feeling. It's going to be right on Madden 21 release. The bracket. Well, one more time before we get out of here. This is the bracket. Boom. We got K Mac versus Noah. We got Throne versus Drenny. We got CC versus Pavin. D Croft versus Fancy. BG vs. J-Wall. BG, who is the new Siwoo. That's what they tell me. Boogs vs. Joke. Zan vs. Chaos. Clef vs. Maze. Right there. Boom. That is the 16. Ready to play some John Madden football. Next week, we'll break this down. We will do the community. We'll do the community votes to see who the Needy Podcast official winner is. We will do um, a bracket challenge for everybody that watches. You can fill it out, boom, just like that. Uh, we will also do odds. I'll give odds for everybody like we did for the club series. Next week, we will definitely go into this bracket a little bit more. Uh, before we get out of here, June 20th, that is when the tournament is going live. So if you guys are here, uh, hopefully all you guys tune in, all you guys watch. I'm trying to make this the biggest event of the summer. This is the inaugural Needed Gaming Mutt Invitational. There's not very many uh, Mutt tournaments. There's n- we rarely even play Mutt competitively ever. I want to say the last time we played Mutt competitively for me was like Madden 16 wagers for golden tickets. I, that's probably the last time I remember playing Mutt like locked in like that. Uh, and, and, and for me, I think it's something good for Madden. I think it's something that we can bridge the gap between the uh, content mutt people and the competitive people. Like, content mutt people would want to watch this and I'm trying to, you know, just bring everybody together, essentially. So I think it's really going to pop. You know, it's going to be a good time and I hope all you guys enjoy watching. I hope all you guys show up and we really make it something special every single summer. Or honestly, if it does that well, I feel like we could probably do this once a month. You know, I really think uh, something that can get on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, salary cap, I haven't been too much a fan of watching it. For me, uh, when I watch play, it could be anybody. If I see Eli Manning, a quarterback, I'm out. I, I don't want to watch it. I don't know. You know. Sub I, see, I don't like a big-ass tournament. I, that's why I kept this to 16 people. Like when you get like, If I did a sub-tournament, it'd be like 500 people in this shit. You know, and it's like, I don't want to try to keep track of that shit, honestly. You know, 
Yeah. But this month, I hope all you guys tune in. All you guys are as excited as I am. Like I said, this was episode 84. 16 weeks away from episode 100. 16 weeks is like four months. So we might be prime. For episode 100, we might be prime MCS uh, territory. Prime MCS uh, topics, really. We might be right going in the club series, something along that nature, honestly, in four months. Yeah, we shall see. But all right, boys, I appreciate y'all. This was episode 84. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content.